one of the things I think that post-processing is really good for is to kind of bring the, the vision of what we had for the photo to reality. So, you know, I think when whenever we, we press the shutter on a photo, we have a certain image in mind. Um, and a lot of that image has to do with how we feel about the photo when we're taking the photo, you know, what, what we're seeing, what we're hearing, what we're doing. And I think, you know, especially in an example like this, I know I had certain feelings about the photo. There was, I felt there was like this, this warm light that was kind of coming in up here. Um, you know, I saw this detail up front and, and I think that affects the way that we see the photo, but sometimes it doesn't always come across that way. So for me, post-processing is the way to make that happen. Uh, I'm going to hop into and uh, on one and hands here and just kind of do a couple of quick basic adjustments because where I think the stylization is where things really happen. So we're going to take that in the next phase and effects, but where you do these changes, it doesn't matter quite as much, all right? Um, you've got exposure, shadows, highlights, whites, blacks, contrast. I mean, these changes can be done, you know, just about anywhere. So as I look at exposure, you know, um, you know maybe make it a little bit brighter, but I can't go too bright. I mean, it's all, it's almost a pretty well-exposed photo. I can kind of boost the, the whites a little bit if I want to deepen the blacks a little bit, make this a little bit more warmer, uh, maybe even open up the shadows, but I don't want it to look artificial by, by really opening up the shadows. There's only certain areas that I want to see those shadows in. So I think when we do the basic adjustments, we can actually be done quick. What I think really happens is that when we move to effects and our stylization, that's when we really make the photo come to life because there's a lot of things we can do about what kind of works with our style. So I know for me, you know, I, I'm, I, I like warmth in the photo, especially a photo like this. And that's kind of what drew me to it. So I always go down here to the sunshine filters and the sun glow is a good one here because it adds a little bit of warmth, a little bit of color, and it adds a glow to the photo. It's hard to see. You don't want it. it there's an amount setting down here. You know, you don't want to crank it up so that things kind of become too soft, but there is a certain amount of glow that I want to add here. All right. Uh, if you see the before and after, you can see that's a big difference already. Kind of deepens the colors a lot too. From there, I'm going to go down here to add filter. And I'm going to talk about something that I, that I mentioned before, which is contrast. So I'm going to go to dynamic contrast, um, more contrast and detail. And, and I mentioned that, you know, the details, what drew me to this, all this detail up front here kind of brought me into this photo. So I want to bring that out. I might pull back the settings a little bit. I don't think they need to be quite so contrasty but but this this area up front and all these details back here are are kind of what i saw when i was there i was really paying attention to you know how many all those bright colored leaves on the dark uh, on the dark rocks and how they stood out and i want to make that happen a little bit more all right so from here now we i think we really go into a stylistic phase because i'm going to go to the adjustment brush and for me i, I saw a lot of light up here so I'm going to go to the light and adjustment brush and I'm just going to make my brush a little bit bigger and I'm going to paint. I think it's, it might be a little bit too bright. So I'm going to just pull down on the brightness a little bit here, but I'm going to paint in up here because I did see a lot of light coming through these trees. It was almost a, a foggy, hazy, warm glow that was up here. And I want to bring that warmth into the photo because I think that that'll really help people kind of settle into the feeling of it was a warm, warm kind of hazy morning here. So I'm going to bring that. And when I say warm, I mean, just the feeling felt warm. It's actually kind of cool out, but it just felt like a warmer type of an atmosphere. Um, we can always go down here and you can see I can adjust the brightness, but I can also adjust the warmth. So I can bring some of that warmth um, back into the photo. And I can also bring a little bit of glow into the photo. And that's going to give it that hazy feeling. Now, I'm not going to crank it up to 100, but I can go up here and start to bring in and give it just a little bit of that haze um, that we had up here without necessarily affecting the rest of the photo, okay? Um, from here, I'm gonna actually add another adjustment brush filter. And I'm gonna choose the light and option. I'm gonna bring the brightness way down here. And I am gonna paint in a few of the rocks that I saw up here because a lot of this stuff is what stood out to me. So I'm gonna paint in a little bit on there. I'm gonna paint a little bit on these waterfalls. The other thing that stood out to me was how bright the water seemed to everything else. There was so much darkness with all these dark rocks because um, the sun wasn't really coming through all these trees. 
everything was so dark and it really stood out to me how bright the water was there. So I, I want to bring those things out. I'm trying to remember some of those things that I saw when I was there so that I can bring that out um, in the post-processing phase. Okay. Um, the last thing I would say here is let's go up here to add filter again. And there's a finishing move that I always put on here and especially for landscapes, especially for a photo like this, uh, a vignette. I think a vignette just kind of helps us settle into the photo. I usually go down here to the preset section and just choose the big softy option um, because that does a real good job of just making a nice soft edge around there. And then what I'll do is I'll bring the opacity down a little bit. Uh, you can kind of experiment with the size if you want to bring it out more toward the edges or in toward uh, the center a little bit here. But that vignette really, to me, just kind of helps you settle into the photo, kind of reduces the edges of the photo and really brings you in, especially if what's special about the photo is um, toward this middle area, which I think in a photo like this it is, really does kind of help you settle into it. Okay, when you're done, I'm just going to hit save. And then it'll lead me right back where the original was. So I can give it kind of a before and after here. All right. So that's our before photo. This is what we started with. And that's what we ended up with. Okay. So there's our before. There's our after. And I think, you know, when you see an example like this, you, you can kind of see that it really does become about stylization for the photo. It's about making that photo kind of look like it did and, and, and how you imagined it did when you were there taking it and using the tools that we have to get there.